Okay, so um, my name is Dr. Ames and I'm here with my patient Mona, mm -hmm. who has very kindly agreed to let us demonstrate on her how to correctly check her blood sugar, right? So the first and most important thing is that you must wash and dry your hands thoroughly with soap and water, which you did before we've turned on the camera, didn't yes, you? Yes, I did. Yeah. And that's because even things like newspaper print can have sugar in them that can make it look like your blood sugar is higher than it actually is, okay? The other thing is maybe if you had a glass of orange juice, traces of the orange juice might be on your fingertips and that can also make the blood sugar look like it's higher than it really is, okay? That seems to be very interesting. Um, that is very, very interesting to me because I never thought of that. You never thought of that? No, I never thought of that. Sometimes no. I... Reading a newspaper, I just rest it down and just take my blood sugar one time. And you might find that it's higher than. And then I look, I see it's much higher than it right. should so be. So that could be the reason why. Okay. Yeah. So now you know. Always wash and dry your hands. Always. Okay. The second thing is you must never ever use these two fingers ever, your thumb and index finger. So you hide these two fingers and you only concentrate on these three outside fingers. Did you know that? No, I always use. This one. Well, well, that's a good one. The, uh, the small one. That is a good one. That is a good one. And the reason you never want to use these two fingers... No, I've be... never used this one or this one. Good. Is because we need to be able to pick up a pen and write. So we need to protect these two fingers, okay? Which I do. Good. The third thing is you must never ever stick the pulp of the finger here. Only ever this side. And I saw when you showed me your baby finger, you were pointing to the pulp, right? Yes, that is what okay. I, I would do this. Right. Yeah. So from yeah. now on, we want you to just yeah, do the, the side, side there, okay? And the reason for that is because one of the complications of diabetes is sight loss. And we don't want that to happen to you, and we're doing everything we can to prevent it. But if it does happen, how do blind people read? They use Braille. So they use their fingertips, fingertips to feel the raised letters. So we need to protect the nerve endings in our fingertips. fingertips. So we only have to prick the sides, okay? So we're going to show um, everybody what to do today. So the blood testing kit I'm using is true to go, but that's just because I happen to like this very small one. You can use any one you want. To me, the most important thing is the cost of the strips. So be very, very wary about getting a free glucose meter and without asking what the cost of the refills of the strips are because those are what you're going to be using on a regular basis to check your sugars, right? What I'm wondering, what's, what's the square glucose meter? Is it? They're different brands. They're different Could brands. Could be Roche, maybe? Or One I Touch? I can't remember, but One Touch. Or... One Touch, I think, is a long, thin one. Yeah. It's a, there's a square one like this. You bring it in and show me, because yeah. they're different. They're all different shapes. A some are long one. and thin, and some are round, some are square. just depends on the brand. And something like this. But I have Like to, this one? Yeah, I have to roll it. I don't know that one. Roll that one. I don't know that one, but just bring it in and, and show me. And then you roll it back. You like press it. at the side here. Oh, I that's mean the lancet. That's the lancet. The lancet, yes. Yeah. So this is a lancet, and again, yeah. there are lots of different ones, okay? So always use a new needle to test your blood sugar. Never reuse your needle mm. because the needle or the lancet can have traces of blood on it from previously, which might interfere with the test. And also, once the needle has gone into the skin, it becomes dull, and it'll hurt more, okay? So you always, always use a new needle, okay? So this one goes in like this, but you know, they're different ones. All right, and you always use a new one, okay? Okay, and then as I said, we've washed and dried your hands, so we know that's okay. And then on my machine, what happens next is you insert the strip, and the machine gives you a little indicator, looking like a little drop of blood when it's ready to go. Okay, so there we see the little drop of blood has come up, right? But um, what I want to inquire from yes. you, there are some machines yeah. like this. Yes. That uh, it goes at 888 and... You mean it gives you a code? Give you a code. Yeah, some, some blood sugar machines have codes. Codes. Right? So I'm not going to go into the nitty gritty because everyone yeah. is different. different. So whoever you buy it from, ask them about... Sometimes you have little solutions, you have to calibrate the machine and all of that. I, I like one that's very, very simple. Okay? Yes. So if you want to bring in your machine, and we'll go through how to use your particular machine, okay? 
So the next thing is you've washed and dried your hands. So we're going to choose your finger. Which finger would you like me to? I would like to do this one that you showed me. This one or this one? This one? This one, yeah. This one, okay. So we're going into the sides. So we're just massaging it a little bit, okay? And you just go, oops, and there we are. A little bit of blood is coming out there, a little drop of blood. And we put that in there. Okay, and I'm going to give you a little bit of cotton for you to press, okay? You can just press on it. There you go. And we're just waiting for you. And there's your reading. Okay? About 175. When did you last eat? Just before I came here. Okay, so that's actually not bad at all. So that's fine. Once it's less than one eight hours eating, that's but pretty I do, good. I did very high. 175. You find that's a little high? That's because you just ate. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And usually, usually we test first thing in the morning when you wake up or two hours after meals. Okay, so maybe because you just, just ate. Uh, yes. Yes, that's probably why. But what about one, sometimes I'm 145, sometimes I'm 128, some, all different. Yeah, it might just depend on how long since you've last yeah. eaten or eating, what you've recently or what eaten, eaten or if you've done some exercise. Yes, all I, those sometimes sorts of I do exercise and then take it. And then and do you it find it slower? Yeah. Per, it goes up or down? Down. Down. Oh, okay. Okay. down. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, well, thank you very much, Mona. Thank you very much for having me. Okay. And I enjoy the small moment with you. Oh, well, that's very nice. And I hope that I can come back and do something else. Oh, you come and video uh, again? Yes, I do. Okay, <laughs> perfect, perfect. We'll invite you in. All right. Okay. Thank, thank you very you. much for having me. Thank you. You're a sweetheart.